In 2020, Notion crossed 1 million users. And just earlier this year, they hit 100 million. That is an insane growth and it doesn't look like we're stopping anytime soon. But that of course brings a challenge. Will we use the magic and the whimsicalness of Notion? Well, I recently sat down with Erica Anderson, the Chief Revenue Officer of Notion, to talk about this question and the challenge of building a tool that is both used by monks in Nepal and car manufacturers like Toyota. First, thank you so much yes. for taking the time. I'm yes. super excited to, to be talking to you today. Yeah, thank you. And maybe to kick things off, could you tell me a little bit, what does a CRO do? Like walk me through like a typical day a as typical a CRO day. at Notion. Yes. Um, well, you know, it's a wide variety. Um, but I would say first and foremost, it usually centers around customers and users. So mm -hmm. there's a big part of my day that's understanding either meeting with a customer or yeah. understanding what's happening with a customer. Um, I also meet with users, like mm. end users, yeah. um, a couple times a week um, just to get feedback mm. on the product. What are they liking? What do they think about new features? That helps mm. me understand how are we communicating what's yeah. happening yeah. in the product and how are people figuring out how to go use it? Mm. Um, so I'd say that's number one. Mm. Um, another part of the day in the life is just thinking a lot about, you know, we have a lot of different segments at mm. Notion. We have yes. a lot of different audiences. Um, yeah. And that's the wonderful thing about the flexibility of the product. Mm. Um, and so I spend a lot of time thinking about how do we reach our yeah. different segments. Mm. We are also a very global business. Yeah. So how are we thinking about where we're at in different markets? Mm. Um, how do we best serve those? So that's another big portion of yeah. the time. And then I would say on the product side, um, which you know I do a fair bit of mm. understanding what we're building, yeah. how that's going to impact users. Um, spend a lot of time on like how do we get users to that aha moment yes yeah um in the best way possible right mm. now you know we're thinking a lot about use cases mm. how do we identify serve those use cases in the product mm. or in things that we share with the community in the market so yeah that's the other big place of where i spend a lot yeah. of time oh yeah i can imagine that's a big challenge particularly the, the aha moments right because yeah. the, the challenge with building a software that yeah. anyone can use for anything is like yeah well, what what are the aha moments, right? Yes. In the sort of like the customer yes. journey where you're like, yeah, now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Yes, yeah. it's an ongoing ongoing work for us to figure that out. Yeah. Oh, I'm very excited to see what you what you yeah. come up with uh, yeah. next year. Yeah. Uh, but maybe before we look at the future, quickly about the past, right? Before yeah. you joined Notion, you were for nearly ten years at GitHub. Yes. Maybe. Uh, yeah. What what made you you know uh, join Notion and take on this like very very different uh, challenge? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it was interesting. I I actually saw a lot of parallels in the mm. things that I really loved about GitHub yeah. at Notion, mm. and it played a big role mm. in having this make sense as mm. the next stop in the journey. Um, GitHub had a huge community yes. um, yeah. around the product, yeah. um, and Notion does as well. And I learned a lot about how to cultivate community, what that means. Mm. And so I was very intrigued by a notion of like, wow, what can I bring, honestly, yeah. Yeah. from what I've learned over 10 years at GitHub to yeah. also help at Notion, mm. kind of cult this, cultivate this already organic, amazing product love that yeah. exists. Yeah. Um, so I'd say that was the first thing. Um, the second thing was I saw a lot of parallels of GitHub had very opinionated product design. Mm -hmm. Notion has very opinionated <laughs> product <laughs> design. Yeah. Um, and I really developed an appreciation for what that means in terms mm -hmm. of what does your product feel like to yeah. users. Yeah. And so that also really drew me to Notion. Mm -hmm. um, and I understand that. And I understand the value of that. And that was very exciting for me. Um, and then the last thing I always tell people when I joined GitHub, it had this you know, amazing vision of being the home for all developers. Yes. And I was like, wow, what a big mission. Yeah. And I remember meeting everybody at Notion and it was like, how do we get make software tool making as yeah. widespread as possible? Yes. And I was like, that's a really big <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. mission and vision it almost, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and I was really drawn yeah. to that. That to me is very yeah. exciting to yeah you know, work on something as impactful as what that can be. Mm. Um, and it has a lot of interesting complexities on how you bring that to life. So I was very excited to join Notion to do that. Oh, I can can only imagine, yeah, that's like the size of the, the challenge, right? Yeah. Uh, do you still remember like your, your first day at Notion, right? Like when you when you first walked into your office, is there like anything particular that, that stands out from that day? Oh my gosh, first day. 
the two I remember. I think it was just um, Notion actually has a very particular feel in the office. Yeah. Like yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I always say it's like, it makes sense, our product, mm. when you also come to our office. Yes. So I think the, the biggest thing I was struck by, I had been in the offices before, yeah. but yeah. like on your first day of being mm. a new employee, yeah. literally the atmosphere was like what really struck yeah. me and yeah. like realizing the parallels to mm. what you actually experience in the product. Yeah. It's, it's it's really very interesting. It, it really, you know, transcends everything we work on, which is yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah, that that's true. Like I only have seen the Dublin office so far, yeah. but really it's like you, you walk into it and you feel like, huh, I'm yeah. kind of inside yes. <laughs> Notion. Yes. It's yes. like very hard to describe yes. because yes. there are no pictures of the product anywhere, yeah. right? But no. like it, no. it's just like, yes, yeah. this yeah. is like the extension of like what it's supposed to be yeah. and, and feel like and I think that's probably part of the, the success part of Notion is that like there's from end to end yes. just so beautifully yes. designed and, yes. and thoughtful and there's yeah. a simplicity yeah. and a beauty yeah. that the you know environment we work in then represents yeah. of the product. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, really, really cool. And I mean, just like a few weeks ago, right? You you were on the stage for Make yes. with Notion in San yes. Francisco, which was insane. I, I watched the keynote. I was so so excited to see all the updates, right? Yeah. Uh, from like forms, uh, layouts, automations, marketplace, right? So yeah. many many new things. Yeah. Um, so like 2024, right? Insane end to the summer yes. of launches. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you have anything where you would say like you know like that's what I'm really excited for in, in 2025? Anything where like maybe a theme, right, or so where you say like this is uh, what what Notion will, you know, will move towards now? Yeah, I would say, you know, we're going to spend more time in 2025 on the kind of what I referenced earlier, mm -hmm. like the aha moments. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're coming with a problem, yeah. you know, to Notion, yeah. you come there for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know, we get millions of workspaces, you know, yeah. signing <laughs> up. People yeah. are coming, they're looking for a solution. And we're going to spend a lot more time on like, how do we how do we match that? Mm -hmm. How do we you know mm -hmm. surface the use case that yeah. makes sense for you? Yeah. How do we make that as seamless as possible? Get you mm -hmm. to that aha moment to mm -hmm. you know figure out um, you know the power of Notion that lies beyond that first yeah. use case. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm probably most excited about, and mm -hmm. you know it applies to all of the segments we're in in terms mm -hmm. of individuals come yeah. looking for a particular use case. Our business users, companies mm. come. Um, yeah. And so, you know, we're going to spend a lot of time in thinking there. Um, particular to the European market, mm. we <laughs> um, shared today that yeah. we're um, going to have data residency in yes. 2025. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, a German data center is mm. our, our first stop on that journey. Mm. And that's really exciting. Yeah. That's like, yeah. a, you know, another oh, yes. leap in the journey for yeah. Notion that I'm really excited about. That is true. Like that will be a, a big shift because it's still like you know I think in more traditional businesses right yeah. there, then still like a bit more like okay, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. where, where where is the data kept? Yeah. Um, and speaking of the the segments, right, the different ones, like yeah. I believe or I imagine it's probably a very tough challenge in Notion, right? Everyone can use it. You have yeah. you know monks using it yes. to to organize the monastery, and you have Toyota using it uh, mm -hmm. to organize the production schedule. Mm -hmm. So how do you take all these? wildly different uses and wildly different use cases and needs no. and then try to prioritize between them and you you know develop your your roadmap yeah yeah um you know it's uh um evolving on how we yeah. do that well yeah. i would say you know we're very focused on knowledge work generally right, right? and so that yeah. gives us a certain amount of focus that's a commonality mm -hmm. across those different mm -hmm. Um, yeah. audiences which yeah. is great and you know we're spending more time thinking mm. about as i mentioned like mm. what are those prevalent use cases um mm. and how can you share and discover yeah. those easily the other thing i would say is that notion thinks a lot about how we connect different mm. um, user groups to each other yeah so for example how do we create the environments where creators mm. can find each other yeah. and amplify each other's work yeah um that's yeah part of it um the community they already do that really well oh yes <laughs> um, organizing <laughs> you know meeting yeah. each other um goes the same with as we you know go into businesses and enterprises right. creating environments for executives connect so yeah. as much as it is about us prioritizing and focusing it, mm -hmm. it's more about how we connect these groups together yeah. so mm -hmm. that they can learn from yeah. each other yeah um, we can share so much but often the power with notion is how these groups together can amplify yeah. how each other is learning yeah. and you know progressing the way that they use notion for yeah. their particular you yeah. know, use cases 
that is, that I think is a great point. I think like earlier today we, we were hearing right that, that like you know like when when went viral on TikTok, you know like mm-hmm. the teenagers use enterprise software, yeah. and I think that is so cool, right? To uh, how we can take you know best practices and principles from mm-hmm. something like okay, this is how Toyota builds cars, and apply it to something. Well, this is how I manage my own garden, right? Like yeah. all these like yeah. <laughs> you know this, exactly. this, yeah exchange <laughs> of of ideas. Yes, exactly. Really, really cool. Yes. Um, Maybe uh, before we before we wrap up, like one one last question about like the the, the next step sort of in Notion scaling, right? Like in, in 2020, you were at like uh, one million users. Mm-hmm. Now you're at a hundred million. Mm-hmm. Um, how can you now scale to sort of the the next level, the, mm-hmm. the next challenge, um, while you know still keeping the you know this this magical like whimsiness feeling, you know that that thing that you you walk into a Notion office and it, it feels like Notion and not like you know like in five years it feels like oh this is an, yeah. you know another standard corporate one. Like how do you try to keep that that magic alive. Yeah, I think it's really important to us. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's something that we talk about a lot because yeah. there really is something magical about Notion. Um, you know, I think about it in terms of like, how do we think about building the product? Yeah. How do we think about building our team, like mm-hmm. the internal Notion yeah. team? Yeah. And how do you think about building for your customers? Yeah. I, like, I, I love the like threes yeah. um, mm-hmm. and kind of think of it as like head is product, yeah. hand is the teams, yes. the internal notion teams, and heart is like the customers. Mm-hmm. Um, I think for us on the product side, so like the head, mm-hmm. um, it comes down to notion is so beloved because I think it cracked the code on there was a blueprint for what software looked like. Yeah. You know, we see a lot of point solution, mm. more rigid software. Yeah. And Notion thought outside of the box. Yeah. Um, and you know, people often say Notion's like a blank page. Yeah. That was very intentional. Mm. Right? Um, and this yes. approach of, you know, this is really software building blocks. And mm. so um, you know, we have to keep thinking that way. Yeah. Like there's a blueprint and there's value to blueprints, mm. but then there's a lot of value to a blank paper. Mm. Um, mm. and so I think for us in the product is to kind of stay true to our roots. Um, we also do a lot of like, you know, fast shipping, iterating. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's also will keep us, you know, mm-hmm. with the essence of what Notion feels like today. And that's yeah. pretty core to us. So that's on the product side. Um, I think teams, uh, Notion talks a lot about, um, we're very particular about craft. Yeah. Um, when we hire people, a mm-hmm. lot of intentionality around who's on the team. Yeah. How do you talk about your craft? Mm -hmm. How do you value your craft? Mm -hmm. What's the bar you set for your craft? And I think that helps maintain what Notion is because that has existed from the beginning of the company and it's Mm -hmm. really important, Mm -hmm. especially as we grow to keep that application. And then for customers, you know, at the heart, it's as many conversations as we can have. It's facilitating the community. It's our ambassadors that we bring together the executives, all the forums and yeah. all the audiences that we have today, it's continuing to bring them together so that we can learn, they can learn from each other yeah. and keep that at the heart of what we build for. Yeah. Um, and I think we do that well today and it's just like continuing that. So that's that's kind of how I think about it. The product, the team, and then customers really at the heart of what we do. Yeah, I, I can uh, only only agree with that, right? Like in particular, uh, what do you say about like, you know, listening to, to customers in the communities? I think Notion is doing such an excellent job yeah. at that, right? Like we might not always see eye drive, but yeah. it's so cool to have like this, this, I mean, this is like an insane yeah. privilege, right? That we can yeah. just sit across each yeah. other and, you know, I get yeah. to ask you questions. Yes. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see where this goes in the, yeah. in the next year. And yeah. thank you so much for yes. taking the time. It's a super interesting conversation. Yes, thank you so much. So much for my conversation with Erica Anderson. Now I'd love to hear from you. What would you like to see Notion focus on in 2025? If you need a refresh of every single feature that they released so far this year, I got you covered. Here's a roundup video that covers all of them, plus how you can use them in your workspace. Just click here and I'll see you in a second.